Hi, I'm here with Katie Geelan, who has been a much loved and respected music teacher in schools across Bury for many, many years, where she has literally taught thousands of children to have an appreciation of music, taught them how to sing, taught them to play instruments, and even created the Odd Steel Drum Ensemble. Katie is also a versatile violinist, and she has recently left the education system to pursue her solo career where she plays at corporate events and social events. But on top of all of that, she is also choir master at Berry Fire Choir and Encore Youth Fire Choir as well, um, who both have a meaningful concert coming up, which we're going to talk about shortly. So thank you so much, Katie, for chatting to us. I have no idea how you've managed to find the time. You're a very busy lady. <laughs> Always got time for you. Ah, oh, thank you. So tell us all about Berry Fire Choir and Encore Youth and how they all came about. Who are they? What do you do? Okay, so both choirs um, came about really. We, we started the association with the fire service um, after COVID, where the previous places where we used to perform obviously couldn't allow us to use the premises and we were really, really stuck for a venue. So to cut the story short, Janet Adams, our our encore president had a very good friend who works in the fire service called Martin Ferran and um, one of his his child actually used to go to one of the schools I taught in and Martin said that we could use the facilities at the fire station and then just jokingly he said oh we could have the very fire choir and it kind of all led from there then and um, he lets us use the premises to rehearse both the choirs one on a Tuesday one on a Wednesday and the choirs have basically gone from strength to strength really since that partnership came into uh, into action Sounds brilliant. Um, yeah, really interesting space to rehearse in as well, I imagine. It is. The children love it because obviously they see the fire engines, they get to meet the, the, the firefighters and they, they think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about Encore then. So Encore came about, um, you've mentioned there, um, um, well, it was prior to COVID and it was obviously um, a response to the Manchester arena attack, wasn't it? And Yes, it was. Yeah, and you've got a, an involvement with Lives Trust, haven't you? So can you tell us about that and who Lives Trust are? Okay, so Olivia Campbell-Hardy, she spent a, a short time with us singing in Encore. So obviously um, her family um, want to continue to support us. So Steve and Sharon at Lives Trust are our choir patrons. Uh, they support us in every single thing we do we, in help us with funding as well. If we've got children who find the, the small fee we ask for difficult to pay, they are happy to help with that. And they also provide lovely uh, uniform for the children as well. Um, so, yeah, our Encore did, did come about really at, in response to, to the Manchester attack where the children felt it was important to sing and to keep that community vibe kind of going, really. Yeah, and this is what your concert that you've got coming up is all about, isn't it? So it's to basically remember what happened and really support and raise money, I guess. And I want you to tell us all about it. So where is it? Where can we get tickets? Is it both choirs? What songs are you singing? What's it all about? OK, so we've all always, ever since the very first anniversary of the Manchester Attack, our choirs have always wanted to do something. We've always felt for, for the town as well. It, it's such um, a poignant occasion where, where we need to let our voices come together. Um, so in the past, we've the first year we sang in St. Anne's Square. That was, uh, uh, it was all televised because obviously it, it was a huge event, the first anniversary. And we were even lucky enough to be on BBC Breakfast last year because it was the fifth anniversary. So again, that was quite a special one. So this year, what we've got in store is we've got the two choirs combined and we are singing at St. Mary's Social Club, which is a club where Steve and Sharon um, do a lot of their events. And the two choirs are going to come together at six o'clock and we're going to sing some of our iconic songs, songs that mean things to Steve and Sharon as our choir patrons and entertain anybody who'd like to be there. Sounds amazing. I've heard the choirs, they are brilliant. And just to clarify, that's St Mary's Social Club in Radcliffe, isn't it? Yes. Yes, in yes. Radcliffe. And yes, it's the, very sweet. Yes, and the big question, so anybody who knows of or have seen Berry Fire Choir will know what I'm about to talk about here. But for anyone else, can you tell us the big question? Are you going to be doing your big Manchester mashup? And for anyone who doesn't know, tell us all about it. 
Absolutely. Our Manchester mashup is, like, is really our signature tune. Yeah. Uh, we go to so so many venues where people ask for the mashup. One, because obviously we're all, we're, we're Mancunians, aren't we? But if you think of some of the iconic songs within that medley, we've got things like we've got Elbow a Day Like This, we've got Take That, um, and obviously the song that, that was kind of used so much around the attack, which is the Don't Look Back in Anger. And I think the fact that all those songs are, are mashed together, the little bit of James sit down as well, the appeal to our, our young younger children, but also to, to our wide audience also. So yeah, we, we love our mashup. We really do. It's incredible. And um, we are going to put a link at the bottom. There's a link at the bottom of this video on our webpage. So please go and watch um, the Manchester mashup on YouTube. It is fantastic. Um, and so you've got quite a few highlights um, during your time with the, the choirs. Um, it's incredible these opportunities that you're offering for both young people and adults alike. I mean, I'm going to ask you about a few of them because you've got um, the Head Over the Hills Festival that you played. Um, you've you won the, Man the, the Ramsbottom Music Festival. You've auditioned for Britain's Got Talent. More recently, mm -hmm. you were at Berry Pride. I mean, it's endless, these opportunities. Tell us, tell us all about them. We, you know, we, we just, it's like when we're asked to do something, we always want to say yes. And obviously that, that gets hard with the amount of, of things now that come through the inbox. Can we sing at this? Can we sing at that? But we like to support the community. We love doing things for Berry Hospice. We love doing things for people that come. People, quite often we ask people, we invite them to come and visit the choir. And usually once they've seen us and they've met our members, they say, Katie, can you, we've got an event. Can you come and sing at this? So I think it, it's a, a kind of a testament to everybody who comes to visit us. They want a little part of the choir and they really help help us to build by some of the events we're asked to sing at. Uh, we, do, we do some fabulous events. Honestly, we've, do, we've done so much. I can't even remember them all. <laughs> There's that many, but everyone, even if it's a small event with a small group of singers or to the larger events, we, we, we try and just, just give a quality performance everywhere we go. We've got great things happening in the future as well, taking bookings for December already. Wow, wow, amazing. Yeah. And I was going to say, what do you have any highlights? Like, What is it that keeps you going back? It might not necessarily be an event. It, it could be something in the rehearsal room. Like, What is it that keeps you going back and doing this? I I love what my members get out of it. Obviously, I'm at the age now where I've done quite a lot of performing myself and uh, I still get the chance to perform um, now in my new role as a, as a violinist. But for some of our members to go out into the community and to sing, and I remember one of my lovely gents in my choir, David Hansen, he said, I can't tell you what it feels like, Katie, when people give me a round, we're, give, we're given a round of applause you know, and people smile and they've enjoyed us. And again, sometimes I think it's little things like that. We take it for granted. We go out and people do applaud. They'll send a lovely message to say, thank you. We enjoyed your performance. And it's those little magic touches of seeing my members come off stage with a smile on the face, feeling proud, or a child who might have, you know, a few little wobbles at school, may lack, lack, lack a bit of confidence to get up and, and put those little demons to the back of the head and think, do you know what, I'm going to go on a stage and I'm going to deliver. It's those things that empower me as a, as a musician and as a choir leader. Well, you do an incredible job. I've seen with myself for myself what you do, and I know some of these people, and you really do make a difference to them. Um, mm -hmm. You may you mentioned fiddlesticks there, your solo. So tell us, tell us all about this. What have you been doing? Well, fiddlesticks was something that I kind of, have kind of built up over the last couple of years and it was always something as a little bit of an additional that I did obviously because I was full-time in, in in school employment but I just thought at Christmas this year I thought you know what I'm going to have a dabble with this violin <laughs> and see what I can do and you know I am absolutely loving it I am going to some of the best places meeting the best people and again very diverse I people that know me know that I'm a bit of a, a social butterfly I like to get out and about and I get you know I, I want to meet new people and do new things and I go to places like Dementia Daycare in Bradbury and you know people come and again that that smile on the face seeing people joining songs that they might have some memories from the past and um, walk you know playing as brides walk down the aisle making an event 
you know, come to life with some live music. I absolutely love it. Honestly, I, it just, and the exciting thing is I never know what's going to happen next. I always think, where might I be playing next week or next year? I've got a wedding in Dubai um, next year that I'm, I'm looking forward to playing and trying to build up some, some contacts um, with a, a well-known gentleman in the Berry area, but I won't mention his name. <laughs> We're doing some um, music in one of my favourite holiday destinations. There's a clue. So again, just, just having the freedom to be able to do that now is um, it's a little liberating. <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. And it must be, obviously, because music plays such an inaugural part in people's lives, we associate it with memories, with stories, with where we were. So being, like you said, being a part of either someone's special day um, mm. or evoking that for people as well it, yeah I, I I can understand why you why you're loving Honestly, it so that is really what what makes me tick and th there was the worry when I left the schools of you know how will my days pan out will I miss it and yes of course I've, I miss the lovely work I do and I'm very fortunate that I still have my contacts with the lovely schools I've worked in and some new schools that have, have, have taken me under the wing as well um and yes, but I think with me, I think music runs through my veins. It's like most people have blood. I think I have music. <laughs> and I think as long as I am out in the world, in the community, and I am taking my music to people, that is actually really what makes me tick. And it's what is making so many members of the choirs tick as well. So how, if you've got people listening, how um, can they join? What do they have well, to do? Where can they get in touch with you if they want to? Right, well, both, both choirs, we always welcome new members. Um, the, we have Both choirs have Facebook pages. So Encore Youth Fire Choir and Berry Fire Choir. You can message us on those. You can send us a, a direct message. And then I have a fabulous team of volunteers uh, in the wings who are waiting to uh, action responses and let you know how you can join. We are we're going to have open days for both choirs in September where people can come and have a little trial session and have a look at us. Um, we're always looking for people for our bass section in the <laughs> adult choir. And I say that lightly because basses don't have to be gents, okay? If you are a female or and you have a low sounding voice, we always welcome people into our base section of the choir. And I have to say, it's built up tremendously this last year. Um, they are sounding the best ever. Um, but any any people with a bass voice, please get in touch. You're very welcome to join us at any time. <laughs> there you go. The plea has been put out there. We will wait <laughs> for the call. <laughs> So what, just to finish, what have you got coming up? We know you've got the concert on Monday. What else have you got coming up in the near future? Right, well, our next biggie is a concert that we are putting on at the Town Hall in Berry on the 9th of July. And we're collaborating with two bands, two brass bands. And I have to give this gentleman a name, Martin Ferran, who is the our kind of like lead man for who I liaise with to, to get the choirs operating within the Berry area. Uh, Martin was actually one of the firefighters who was sent over to Turkey to um, help people in the earthquake and actually did pull people out of those buildings. Um, Martin actually plays in a brass band, so it'll be fabulous for our choirs to come together with his band, something he does in his spare time, and for us to collaborate. So we're doing a big concert at Berry Town Hall with all the funds going to firefighter charities. It's going to be free. We're going to create an event, right? So members of the general public are able to attend, and we're just asking for a donation because we don't want people not enjoying music because of the financial crisis that we're all experiencing <laughs> at the moment so that that that's the next big one for us and then obviously we've got lots of things uh, going into September things for the hospice um yeah loads and loads of things coming up they're all in the big diary <laughs> They're all in the big diary. And all in the the big diary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bin inks in there. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for chatting with us, Katie. It has been an absolute pleasure. And as you can see, there's so much going on. 
join in, get yourself involved in some music, go to the concerts and support local choirs. But just for yourself as well, like Katie has said, there's opportunities there to go along and watch things for free just so you can enjoy the joy that is music. You are a very, very special, inspirational lady, Katie. Thank you so much for chatting with us and all the best with everything coming up. Thank you so, so much. You are a fabulous lady and it's an absolute joy. Thankfully that we've, even though we're only on on this meeting that we've got to meet and I'm sure that we'll see each other soon for a problem. We will. Thank you so much. Thank you.